We've come over to North Wales to see if Leah Crane, who was 14 years old at the time of filming, can put some of this on-sighting theory into practice. As an up-and-coming junior, Leah has on-sighted several French Seven Seas indoors, but converting these skills to rock can be a different matter. We join her as I give her a helping hand with her preliminary route reading, and we've stepped well back to view the top part of the climb. She sets off well with a good straight arm clip and uses a nifty heel toe combination to make light work of the first bulge. She's slightly tentative on the slab, although she makes it in the end to the main steep section. But now she's slow working out the sequence, and most notably here, she misses a blatant opportunity for a toe hook under the overlap. There would also be opportunities for jamming whilst trying to recover, but Leah wastes a lot of time and energy regrouping. Now she commits to a harder sequence than is necessary and makes a brave attempt to fashion a knee bar to compensate, but this only wastes more time when someone with her strength would be better off powering through. Speed is always efficiency at moments like this. And now she's way too tentative with her feet and pays the price as she cuts loose in the worst possible place. It only takes a series of errors like this to turn the table severely against you and now she's forced to try and fashion a rest at a point where she'd much rather be moving on. Ideally she'd just take a quick shake here and press on to the much better rest that's looming only a few moves away but the clock's ticking and she still isn't feeling fresh enough to move on. A gratuitous bent arm clip is the last thing she needs at this stage and now she's forced to reverse and is clearly on her last legs. Climbing down from a high clip like this can sometimes be a good tactic but only if you think to do it straight away. It can be hard to stay positive at times like this but Leah is a good fighter and she stays focused on the task in hand. She finds the necessary commitment for the final sequence but it's all come too late and there's just not enough juice left in the tank. But she goes on to finish the route nonetheless. Leah was brave to volunteer this footage, especially seeing as she went on to on-site much harder routes than this on the crag in the same season. But it's a learning process, and who hasn't made these mistakes at some point in their own climbing? <laughs>